Organizational development and change management specialist is encouraging government as the biggest employer and public sector workers to deepen discussions in reaching a consensus over disagreements on the 4 to 7 percent minimum wage. Professor Ampon Sateria of the University of Ghana Business School tells TV3 agitations from workers over the low numbers negotiated as a way should prompt government to engage unions to resolve concerns. We have agreed that coming into this current year, the 4% will no longer exist. The Employment and Labor Relations Minister had told participants at a NAT national conference in Kumasi that the minimum wage could be increased based on some key indicators being considered by government. But workers and their unions seem distrustful of government on the subject matter. By mid-2021, a 4% and 7% wage agreed on up to 2022 period had been met with some disagreement by public sector workers across the country. Head of Department at the University of Ghana Business School, Professor Amponsateria is worried concerns from workers might not be considering the difficulties government is going through. What is key is that what? Do we have what it takes to pay? What are we putting in the organization for the organization to generate the needed resources to pay that living wage that we're talking about as so, well? That is the crux of the matter as so, well. In all the cases, whereas the unions will be mooting a certain agenda in terms of looking at what they would call a living wage, that which would make the employees very comfortable in the country and so on and so on. The employers are also looking at it from this direction. Okay, well, are we able to generate the needed resources to pay the living wage? Professor Amponsateri advises agitations from workers over the low numbers negotiated as wages should prompt government to engage unions to resolve concerns. Within the ambit and within the purview of things that is happening around them, at the end of the day, they see reason in trying to back down on some of the demands that they make and they go along with the government as well. So I'm thinking that well, public sector workers obviously would always call for their pound of flesh. But I'm thinking that well, within a spirit of fairness, accountability, transparency, once these figures are thrown at them, obviously these are rational beings and they will see reason to it and I think that should be the direction moving forward.